Uh, yeah. So, people, I feel like doing a random crop video. I've done a few videos um, lately. You guys haven't seen them. I've been working on doing videos for my new channel, uh, which will be coming soon. Soku Spective. Hot, right? Soku Spective. Tell me what you guys think about that. Post comment below. Anyway, so this is Soku for you who don't know. Uh... I'm belligerent, I curse, I am eco-friendly, I am an artist, I'm an asshole, I'm a brother, a friend, a cousin, a lover, I add to society, you hear these birds in the background, right? <laughs> no! <laughs> anyway, um, I love animals. And I love fashion. I love fashion. Um, and I don't believe that you have to go broke for fashion. Uh, I will rock some fucking Burberry with some Old Navy. Or with some Target. Or some fucking Polo Ralph Lauren with some no-name jeans. Feel me? That's just how I roll. Um... I don't really do a full price. Full price retail is for suckers, and I don't really do full price. And before, back in the day, when I used to spend tons and tons of money on retail, like ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> now I find like getting a deal is like kind of like my adrenaline rush. It's kind of cool. So um, yeah. Did you guys see Friends with Benefits? What did you think about that? I didn't really like it too much. It was all right. There was some ass shots and stuff like that. But um, I've only seen Mila Kunis in a few movies, and I think she's been she's done better. And Justin Timberlake has definitely done better. Hasn't he transitioned very well into actor? I'm just saying. Like, after Not Straw Dogs, which was good, but um, what's the other movie? Wait, did I just say Straw Dogs is good? Straw Dogs had some good parts, but it was it was overdone. Yeah. Um what was the movie that um Dog something that movie Justin Timberlake was in and they fucking kidnapped that kid and then the kid got killed and it kinda was a true story or some shit? Yeah, that movie. He was really good in that. And then like from there he just elevated. He just like took it up. He done left in sync way back in the day. Like crazy. I gotta tell y'all my little NSYNC story. Have I ever told y'all that? How I met NSYNC and Pink in the same day. But, um, actually I didn't meet Pink. She told me she loved me, though. But we'll go over that. Um, I'm gonna do a celebrity stories, like, so cool celebrity encounters or some shit like that. Um, where I tell you about my celebrity encounters throughout my life. And how they were. So on and so forth. And blah, blah, blah. Or whatever. So what are you people up to lately? Um, I'd like to know. Post some comments below, so on and so forth. Um, a lot of people ask me about the roast slash vent I did the other day on Twitter where I was talking about someone who um, just came, at, came after somebody who is very important to me in my life. And what I'd like to say about that, I'm not going to tell y'all who it was or what it was about because none of your goddamn business. Then you're 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 goddamn business. But how dare you, as a person who does not have their shit together in a certain arena, in this arena particularly was parenthood, come at somebody who has all their shit together and then try to give them, a, not even advice, give them a lecture on some shit you can't do. Really? Your ass is out here failing, falling flat on your fucking face and being dragged through the fucking gravel. And you're trying to tell somebody how to fly? Like, really? Bitch, you're a penguin. You don't even have, like, your wings don't work. You're, like, calm the fuck down. How dare you? And that's what that was about. And if y'all want to go see that, y'all can go see it. Um, 
but yeah, this this bitch really just came out the side of her neck for no damn reason. So I had to go on there and um uh is this still considered subtweeting if you if that person isn't on Twitter? I don't know, I really don't give a shit. I don't particularly subtweet. Um I just tweet shit and it is what it is. Like my profile bio says spewing random nonsense along with pearls of wisdom. That's how I roll. That's what I do. That's what my YouTube channel is. Like, sometimes you're coming on here and get advice. Sometimes you'll come up here and get some fuckery. Sometimes you'll come up here you'll laugh. Sometimes you'll be bored. It is what it is. Like, I just do what I do, and it is what it is. Um, My hair is feeling real crunchy today. I was, still, I was trying the new Eco... Not the new Eco Styler, but new to me. Um, I had started using Eco Styler just like a few... Like a month or so ago. Um, and I like it. And I got the regular one was clear... With orange writing. Oh, excuse me. I got the regular Eco Styler. I guess it's the regular one. Uh, what I really wanted was the the olive oil one that Terra 916 suggests. But I don't necessarily like the way that feels in my hair. That's what I'm using now. And the regular one, uh, my hair is also kind of crappy because, well, it just is. Um, but the regular one left my hair still feeling soft and I didn't get this crunch feeling here um and it seemed to work better with other products i don't get the like white residue feel that i'm getting with this which is the um olive oil i like the regular one better but unfortunately i bought the giant one of the olive oil so i'm gonna use that shit uh because you know it is what it is but um, also, what I just ordered my Proactive. Um, you're going to see a video about that on my new channel once all that's together. I did my little introductory blah, blah, blah haul or however the hell you call it when, you know, you get some shit. Um, and I'm going to do a, on that channel, I'm going to do a, like, step-by-step -step of how my skin is progressing and so on and so forth from the... Uh, the proactive. Only thing I'm worried about is that my friend, she said her skin got like addicted to it. So once she stopped using it, her skin like broke out like crazy. And I'm a little afraid of that. So let's hope that doesn't happen to me because I'll be fucking pissed. 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 And they give you a subscription, like an automatic subscription. Like they'll send you the same package you ordered every month. Until you call and cancel, but I'll be canceling that shit soon. But I just want to make sure I don't want anything else from them because you get a discount. And I'm looking everywhere because I'm just being crazy, like for no reason. I want to see how that looks later too. Anyway, I love me, love you. Um, website coming soon for Soku Masi Mo designs, custom designs actually which will be all hand-painted stuff, um, hand-painted, hand-designed, whatever the case may be, stuff. Eventually, I look to feature other artists on there as well. Uh, web, so that's the website. Soku Spective coming soon, which will be my new YouTube channel based on male grooming, fashion, style, spirituality, travel, and whatever else I want to put on that show. Um, but it won't, it won't be like this show. It'll be an actual well, this is not a show. This is kind of just like a channel and I do what I want. That'll be a show. What's this over here popping up? Okay. Um, so that's that. Uh, follow me on face. Follow me on Twitter. Friend me on Facebook. Like my Facebook fan page. Uh, the majority of my updates are on the fan page, not on the actual profile. Uh, yeah. Hey, that is that. Like, one up, like, one up, all that good shit, so love you people, I uh, hope everything is well with you, happy holidays, uh, we have Kwanzaa, Christmas, Ramadan, Hanukkah, Manashevitz, that's a wine, <laughs> but, uh, Hava Nagila.